हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन नेस्ट मोन चैनल गैस आम राम के सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर सो फ्रेंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टूडे बिकॉज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर माई फेवरेट टॉपिक ऑक्लूजन कलिंग सो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन द चैनल मेक श्योर सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड लाइक द वीडियो ड्रॉप योर क्वेश्चन इन कमेंट बॉक्स सो इन टू डू टूटोरियल वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न जस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द थ्योरी फर्स्ट and then i will explain that how we can perform inside the unity so it's a very important topic if you are working on any 3d game so let's start the today video so basically we are going to learn about occlusion culling what is occlusion culling we will understand and we will get to know that by default what unity supports by default unity supports frustum culling you know what is the frustum culling frustum culling is a by default culling provided by the unity and let me explain what is the frustum culling basically let me explain what is the culling basically culling is the thing that we render on our screen uh, let me explain with the examples like uh, i have already shared with you that whatever camera see that's thing render on the screen so here you can see this is the camera and this is the area where a camera can see and these are the blocks you can say you have created one scene with this block and now what's happening it's happening frustum culling why i'm saying frustum culling maybe there is some game object like in this area you can see on this angle uh, these are the game objects but out of this uh, there might be some game objects some cube or some tiles in this area also but in frustum culling unity renders what camera inside the camera view means you can see in the it side camera view this all are the inside the camera view so it's rendering those thing on the screen but out of this area we are not able to see so that's called frustum culling and it is also a very good thing but the problem is that when a player is here so he is able to see this area you can call this area but he is not able to see this area but it's also getting rendered so at that time we are going to use occlusion culling okay okay occlusion means occluded means uh, uh, hope you are getting you are getting understand what i am trying to say that this is the frustum culling what is the frustum culling in frustum culling in the camera view you are able to uh, get the render and in outside of camera view you are not getting render but in this a you are able to see the whole scene inside the camera view but in the occlusion culling what happens in occlusion culling in occlusion culling camera if camera is seeing this first box not behind that box so it will only render first box not this other box okay you are getting my point why because these are occluded occluded means if it is behind the one object so that will be not render on the camera so let's move on the occlusion culling so here you can see this is the camera and this is the camera view and here you can see only these parts are rendering on the screen okay so that's the very that's the beauty of occlusion culling because these are available means it is in front of a camera where user able to see but this thing this area is not getting render but in frustum it's getting render but in occlusion culling it's not getting render as well as the outside of camera view things are not getting render so that's the beauty of occlusion culling and what's the use of occlusion culling you can just learn about it but the point is that if you are not rendering that much scene that much view that much game object that much poly count in your camera so at that time your fps get increase because they are these are not getting draws so your call draw call will be also uh, drop very much okay okay so let me show you inside the unity how we can achieve it so this is our scene in last tutorial i shared with you that how we can do the light up and in this tutorial we are going to learn that how we can perform the occlusion culling the thing is that one more thing you have to remember that i love this scene because you can perform a occlusion culling in a very efficient way because 
here you can see everything in is in parts because if it will be a single plane so that will be a problem like if player is standing here so whole area will be rendered but the thing is that it is in parts so if player is here and he is just seeing in this area so other thing will be not get rendered inside the and it's also support uh, that's called frustum culling but in occlusion culling what happens that let's suppose i am standing here and i am watching this so what will happen that if i am watching this means let's suppose camera is here okay just let me share with you let's suppose here is camera okay let me draw angle okay here is camera so what's happening this is the camera view and in camera view this is also coming this is also coming this area is also coming this area is also coming okay so in frustum culling what will happen it will render this thing this thing this thing this thing but in occlusion culling what will happen it will just render this area not this area because these are occluded by this wall because these are occluded by this wall means these are behind the this ball so that will be not included that's why we call is occlusion culling so hope you are getting my point and let me show you how we can achieve in the unity so to achieve the occlusion culling first step is that you have to make everything static why static because you can click on this and here you can see this is the occluder static occludi static okay so you have to just mark them occluder static occludi static rendering and here you can see this is the occlusion culling click on this and here you can see objects bake visualization so just click on the bake but first thing you have to mark all the things static okay and if you don't want to mark all the things so it's depend on you but if you want to perform occlusion so these two points should be marked okay and after that in the occlusion culling these are the by default numbers and these by default numbers perform very well if you want to play with this you can play yeah, you can increase the numbers this is the smallest hot 0.25 so that works fine you, you can decrease uh, this value but this will take a much more time to bake this area okay and this is the bake phase threshold that is the 100 by default value and the smallest occluded that is the 5 you can decrease the value if you want but the by default value also play a very important so just click on the bake and this is the object so it's not uh, there is not that much thing okay uh, means you can see after the occlusion will be performed so just click on the bake and after that i will talk about this okay now we have just baked our scene okay let's perform our test that how it's working here is our here is our camera and on camera when i'm clicking it should be on the visualization and here you can see there are so many things and here you can see you you are not able to see the things okay it was happening earlier that this area was also visible okay but if camera is here so here you can see if we are standing this position so what's happening camera is seeing in this area but this wall is rendering but this area is not getting rendered so that's the beauty of occlusion culling okay here you can see okay all the things inside the but if this ball is coming so that area is not getting rendered so that's the beauty of occlusion culling what is the fructum fructum in you can see all the things is getting rendered but if you are getting in this way so only this area is rendered this area is not getting rendered but in normal frustum culling everything is get rendered just outside of this area is not getting rendered in frustum but occlusion culling perform same but in this area you can see this area is not getting rendered okay great awesome so this is the way you can perform your occlusion 
culling and in next part if you will want if you want so just drop in the comment box and i will explain about this smallest occluder as well as on the specter you can see static so i will explain occluder static occluder static so if you want so just drop in the comment box and see you in next video bye bye take care and don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye take care see you in next video